Hi, so in this video we're going to look at a particular compound and how to work out how many moles of each of the elements make up this particular compound. So let's say we've got one mole of H2SO4, so sulfuric acid, and we want to know how many moles is there of hydrogen, sulfur, and oxygen. So to work it out, I multiply the number of moles by how many times that element is seen in the chemical formula. So hydrogen, we see it two times. It's got the subscript two here, indicating there's two of those hydrogens. And we've got one mole of this. So when it splits up, I will get two lots of one mole. So I will get two moles. And that's because we've got two of them. So with sulfur, when this breaks apart, I would get one mole of sulfur because it's only seen once in that compound. So sulfur would be one mole. Oxygen, now I'm seeing it four times. So I do four times one. So it'll be four times one mole. So it'll be four moles. Okay, so let's look at one where I don't have one mole. So let's say I've got 0.5 mole of carbon dioxide. So how many moles of carbon and how many moles of oxygen? So if I've got one of these, so one times and I've got 0.5, moles, so it would be 0.5 mole. And for the oxygen, I've got two. So I've got two times 0.5. So two lots of 0.5 gives me one mole. Okay, so that's how we go from uh, a particular, particular amount, so moles of a compound, and break it down into the elements. Thank you.